Hi friends. I took the week off last week to move into my new craft room, but I'm back this week with my first attempt at a thrift store makeover. I see a lot of people making over jewelry boxes, got one of those, and purses, got one of those too. And I also have a few of these weird items to try and transform. But for this episode, I'm going to let myself off easy and do something pretty plain. I got this weird jar. I paid $3.99 for it. And it came taped up like there's a demon inside. After I freed it from its prison, there's still this tape goo that's left all over it. And it has some weird yellow staining on the inside. And a weird hole on the lid. After cleaning it inside and out, it was time to do a little prep work. I used masking tape. Uh, I mean, I used vinyl tape to protect the rubber part on the bottom and the handle on the lid. This little protective ring on the lid just popped right off. This jar is super shiny ceramic, so I don't think there's a possibility of roughing it up with sanding. My plan is to go with a little gesso and a lot of caution. For my design, I decided to sketch out some wavy stripes. Six wavy stripes, to be exact. Yeah, it's a rainbow. Shocking. But I added some stars in the open space. Groundbreaking. I took off as much of the pencil lead as I could with a kneaded eraser before painting the background. Here, you can see me painting on this nice corally color, but what you don't see is the 20 or so minutes I spent attempting to create a different color. I wanted this pinky, orangey, neon-y color, but this is what I ended up with. Just painting this background took a couple of days, because this jar really wasn't feeling this paint. I had to really let it dry for a long time before adding more layers of paint. For the rainbow itself, I just used paint markers. I wanted bright colors that would pop against the pink, but I didn't feel like mixing six more colors. The Posca markers actually worked really well as long as I was gentle but I did end up having to put a paper towel underneath the jar to keep it from scraping against the paper background. After a second coat and a few touch-ups, I added yellow stars all over the jar. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I removed the tape and found out that this whole rubber part on the bottom just pops right off. Genius. I sealed everything in with six coats of varnish. I probably could have done a few more, but I had to wait in between each coat, and I got tired. I popped all of the rubber pieces back on, and it's done. I am so in love with this jar. It's so pretty. I can't wait to never let anybody touch it. I still had a little bit of time and a lot of coral paint left, so I decided to do one more container that I found at the thrift store. I have this vase thing. It's made in Germany, and it's sort of shiny, but also slightly textured, like paint rather than glaze. First, we gotta get rid of this sticker. That seems like an aggressive knife for this little job, but you do you. Since this already has some texture, I thought I might be able to sand it. I know it's not registering on camera, but I swear this actually did do something. See, it left dust on the background. Even with the sanding, I still put on a coat of gesso. What can I say? I'm a gesso addict. So far I've made a white shiny vase. So let's get some color on here. First, a uh, neon poop green. Ah, uh, fresh and fabulous looking. Next, some coral swirlies. We'll just fill all that in and skip over the four extra coats. Then we'll add some green swirlies. Can you guess what this is? Also, do you see that? My sanding and gessoing is not doing its job. I added watermelon stripes in this turquoise that I already had mixed, but I'm really not sure about this color. I like it in the palette, but it looks kind of weird next to the other green. For the seeds, I went with hearts because it's cute and then I sealed it in with about four coats of varnish. Even though this vase only took me a couple of hours where the jar took me about a week, I actually really love the vase just as much as I love the jar. 
The turquoisey stripes grew on me after everything dried, and it's just so cute. What do you think? What thrift store project should I work on next? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.